this route, we found the trail again. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. South side. Would you like to go check it out with me? We're Kendra and Dusty, and we are in the middle of an epic road trip across our own home state of Utah. If you missed part one, yesterday we went on a hike to Fifth Water Hot Springs, ate delicious Mexican food in Green River, and camped on BLM land just outside of Moab. But today, it's all about Arches National Park. You get an arch, and you get an arch, and you get an arch. Come along, it's gonna be a fun one. exciting day coming up. Uh, we're gonna hike to uh, Delicate Arch first thing. So uh, yeah, let's go get some gas and uh, we'll meet you guys at the trailhead. See you there. So we are here at the trailhead of Delicate Arch. It's a 3.2 out and back hike, which is 5.1 Kilometers. It is a 623 foot elevation gain, 192 meters. All trails map says it should take about an hour and 50 minutes. Probably not too much filming on the way up because it's pretty dark. We'll see you up there. Hopefully get some good sunrise shots and uh, then we'll come back down. feeling? <sighs> Winded. <laughs> but good. Excited to be here. Nice uh, morning workout, right? Yeah. I feel like I'm on the treadmill of the highest incline, just chugging away. After a circuitous route, we found the trail again. <laughs> I would recommend downloading the All's Trail All Trails map. I would recommend downloading the All Trails map. <laughs> to be fair, um, your phone had a little bit of an update and we weren't able to... Uh, consult? We weren't able to consult. <laughs> yeah, so when we pulled it back up, we were way off and then we had to do a little bit of scrambling to get back over here. But not too bad. Put us a little bit behind schedule on seeing the sunrise, but it's still amazing to be up here. And look at that, a trail marker. us about 40 45 minutes to get up here yeah which is better than what all trails was saying we were going to do but again we kind of got lost a little bit there are tons of arches inside arches national park over 2000 i believe many have fallen as they erode through time so we're lucky that this one's still here for us to enjoy As the park gets more popular, you have to have reservations to enter the park between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. We don't have those reservations, obviously, because we planned this on the last minute. If you come before 7 a.m., you can get into the park without a time reservation. Obviously, we're here much earlier than that this morning. Right, yeah, we, we pulled in about 4, 
we got a lot more of the shorter hikes that we're gonna do today. We should probably wrap this up and uh, head down and see some more of this park. Good. Okay. So either on your way up or on your way back, there is a little spot just before you get to the main viewpoint where you can hike up. It's a little bit of a scramble, but it's not that hard. So this is the main trail, and where Dustin is is where you can climb up. There's this little window that just frames the arch that we're, we're standing right in the middle of the window right now. And the arch is just right there. It's an amazing spot to look at it. Just heading down the trail. We actually found the trail. <laughs> a little easier to find when it's not dark. However, I still stand by the statement that this trail needs more Karens. Oh, for sure. We should definitely speak to a manager about it. Absolutely. <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> I would recommend coming early in the morning. As you can see, this is a very popular hike and there's very, very little, I would say almost no shade coverage. So towards the bottom of the Delicate Arch Trail, there's a couple little loop trails that segue off of it. One is the Petroglyph Trail and the other is Wolf, is it Wolf Ranch? Yeah, I think it adds maybe like a third of a mile and uh, I think it'll be worth doing, but we'll let we'll you find know. Out. And the turnoff for petroglyphs. Just for a reference, there's the parking lot we came in at. Right there. And this is the petroglyph trail. So the sign says that these particular petroglyphs are of the style of the Ute Native Americans, which sounds eerily similar to the name of the state that we're in. And that is because the state was named after that tribe. Also says that this is an indication that the Utes actually had horses as early as say the 1580s, sometime in the 1500s. I dabble in art and it amazes me that you could carve that into rock and it would last hundreds and hundreds of years. And the detail in it is so cool. There's a little guy sitting on the, the horse and it's his arms kind of out. A stick figure guy. It looks super cool. That's the way I ride my horse too. Yeah, it's, it's the only way to ride a horse, really. Why would you do it any other way? <laughs> Balance. So uh, off to, uh, what's it called? The I next, don't know. Where the, are we going? <laughs> the little cabin thing. I forget. Wolf. Off Wolf to cabin. Wolf Lodge Cabin Creek, whatever it's called. Welcome to Wolf Ranch. Spider's Paradise. It was used in 1906 to ranch over a thousand head of cattle until 1908 when they moved into Moab. Where are we headed next, babe? Double arch and window arch. Yeah, and from the research I did, I believe that there is a spot next to it that is a little bit more of a hidden gem. I guess we'll confirm that as we go. We'll see but... if we can find it. I see the windows. Dum, dum, dum. To the window! To the wall! Welcome to the Windows Trail. It's a 1.2 mile out and back hike, or a 1.9 kilometer. There are three arches, the north, the south, and turret. So we're gonna go check them out. saw the north, I believe that's the north one, right? The north window. It was lovely. Now we're gonna head to the south from the turret. That's what we're gonna do.
smooth as a mother me and my night. I'm cool as a mother I'ma get my <laughs> smooth. Double arch, which you want to see how close it is to Turret Arch. We're standing in the shade of Turret Arch. And Double Arch is just right across the street, right here. It's a 0 0.6 out and back, 0 0.6 miles, one kilometer. However, I did hear wind of a little secret that turns it into a 1.1 miles or 1.8 kilometer out and back called the Cove of Caves. So I don't know how secretive it still is, but we'll go check it out and see if we can get away from the crowds. seen Indiana Jones, you should recognize this place. It's shown in the intro to the third film, which we all know is the best Indiana Jones, so... found the Cove of Caves little secret that I was telling you about and it's just off to the left just before you get up to Double Arch you'll see some like sandy hills take a left up through there and then you'll go through this big opening and then it's off to the right and from what I can tell I haven't seen a whole lot of people coming this way so I think it really will be kind of like a nice little secluded spot that we can kind of enjoy to ourselves would you like to go check it out with me yeah absolutely <laughs> let's do it Just on the back side of Double Arch. This is our view. This is freaking cool though. Like it's, um, it lives up to what I learned. Like not a single soul over here. We can hear the people over on the other side of Double Arch. So Double Arch was created a little bit differently. There's actually a puddle on top of these rocks that eventually eroded through and created a hole. It's called a pothole arch. And now you know. What do you think? Is it worth coming over to the Cove of Caves? Yeah, absolutely. Seriously, no one here. I know, it's great. It's not marked on the uh, the trail map that they give you, but it is on all trails and Google Maps. The most difficult part was climbing up the sand. Yep. The rest is easy after that. Okay, so uh, just for perspective, this little opening right here, that's what you want to walk around to from the other side, from the arch, which I'm guessing is probably right around here. So yeah, that's double arch and then you just want to, you're on the other side of it, so you'll be going to the left and around through that little opening. Then you have all of this to yourself. Cool. I have to keep reminding myself that it's called Cove of Caves because I keep wanting to call it the Cave of Wonders. Huh? Cave of Wonders? Anyway, should we uh, head back? Yes! So this behind us is the Fiery Furnace, and it's pretty much just a labyrinth of sandstone, hoodoos, desert, dirt, heat, hot, hotness. It's that very, you get lost very in. warm, especially right now. I think it got hotter once we got out of the car. Unfortunately, they require that you have a permit to go in here. You can get a permit and do either a self-guided tour or you can get a guided tour. They just don't want people getting lost in there in the heat of the day. In the hoodoos. And getting dehydrated. And Dying. dying. So, I mean, it's reasonable. If that interests you or you're interested in seeing it, let us know in the comments below. What's next, babe? We are hiking Sand Dune Arch. 
Broken Arch, and Tapestry. You get to see all three on this trail and it is a loop of 2.5 miles and 4.5 kilometers. So let's give it a start with the sand dune. So the sand dune portion actually is an out and back. It's just right at the beginning of this loop trail and uh, you just go off to the right and uh, walk through these little slot canyons. And there's in one now, I can flip it and show you. Found some shade. Yeah. Sandy Trail. Maximize the shade. Shade, shade life. Shade chasing <laughs> when it gets this hot. <laughs> And now on to Broken Arch. We just ran into a couple that just finished doing Delicate Arch. I feel like that would be baking in an oven, <laughs> like a red rock brick oven. Glad we did it when we did. Dude. Yo. We get to walk through the arch. So we're here at the viewpoint, or one of the viewpoints of Tapestry. You can go all the way over to it, but we're running out of water. So we decided to just come to where we could see it clearly and I turn around. Drink our Gatorade and hightail it back to the car where we got some more water because it is hot. Wow. What a view. This is so cool, dude. The final stretch, water. See those cars off in the distance? Do you think it's a mirage? Do you think they'll disappear once we get there? You know, yeah. they'll just be like a carcass of a dead horse. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> Sorry, that was morbid. I got the enchanted chicken. This is their chipotle mayo sauce. Really good attack with chicken. It's got some corn, some refried beans. I can recommend. Quite decadent. I mean, better than the quesadillas I make at home. Okay, finger up, 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 like a lot, and to that what more, lots more, lots more, lots more. Do like a. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Baby, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. See the side. I'm good. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good enough.